Hi everybody, so this book you might have seen in a movie before. It's called A Bug's Life. We're going to do this one over two days and my husband is going to read it for you today and tomorrow. Enjoy! It was right in the middle of the harvest that an ant named Flick had an idea. Flick was always inventing things. This idea wasn't so bad. An automatic harvester. But Princess Atta wouldn't listen to Flick. She was too busy figuring out if there would be enough grain for Hopper and his greedy grasshopper gang. Every year the grasshoppers came to demand food from the ants. This year, for the first time, Atta was in charge of the harvest. Suddenly, they could hear the grasshoppers coming. Atta was flustered. The queen took over. Quickly, everyone, into the anthill. You too, Dot, she said to her younger daughter. The ants left the grasshopper's grain piled up on an offering stone. Flick ran for cover. But as he was taking off his wonderful harvesting machine, he knocked the offering stone over. All the grain slid down into the dry, cracked riverbed. Hopper would be furious. Hopper was furious. Flick tried to stand up to him, but couldn't. Hopper grabbed Dot and threatened the terrified ants. When I come back, I want to see twice the regular amount of grain, or else, he snarled. Flick knew that if the ants obeyed Hopper, they wouldn't have enough food for themselves. So, he got another idea. I could get some bigger bugs to fight the grasshoppers, he suggested. Princess Atta and the Queen didn't like the idea, but they were glad to send Flick away. Only Dot had faith in him. Bring back some real tough bugs, she called as he floated away on his quest. Far away from Ant Island, an audience of rowdy flies was booing yet another circus performance. P.T. Flea, the circus owner, had enough. You're all fired, he yelled at his performance. Soon, Flick arrived in the city. He had never seen anything like it before. This was the place to find tough bugs. Flick found the out-of-work circus bug in a run-down tavern. He thought they were warriors. They thought he was looking for circus bugs. Oops. The circus bugs thought Flick was offering them a contract to perform for the ants. So away they flew to Ant Island, dreaming of applause and full employment. When they got to Ant Island, the circus bugs found out what the ants really expected. Flick! Rosie the spider told him, we are not fighters, we are circus stars. The circus bugs quietly slipped away. Flick ran after them, begging them to stay. Manny, the praying mantis, spoke for them all. You tricked us. You told us, Flick. You talked about our talents. We thought you were hiring us for a show. Flick was about to plead some more when he saw something that terrified him. It was a bird, a bird who ate bugs. Run! He yelled. As they ran, Flick and the circus bug saw Dot floating toward them. The bird had seen Dot too. Swiftly, Francis flew up and grabbed the princess while Slim held Hamlet up to distract the bird. Flick and the others helped Dot and Francis escape. They flew all, they all flew into a prickly bush. The bird flew away. And that's where we'll stop for today and we'll pick up tomorrow.